Here we have a Hot Wheels 2016 E case assortment. This is the international assortment. Uh, they're going to be they're the same cars that are sold in the USA. It's just that these have multiple languages on the back so that they be, can be sold worldwide. Not every country speaks English. We have a uh, nicely sealed case. Let's see what, what kind of goodies are inside. This is the video that you want to watch to post a comment or a suggestion or two of cars that come out of this case. I will do track time with this case. It will be the 2016 E case track time. So I'll look for comments from this case, suggestions or two. That's all you can suggest, a model or two from this case. And you might get picked for a shout out for track time. And by the way, I messed up. I said the wrong treasure hunt last month. I said uh, Dodge something. Actually, that, that treasure hunt is supposed to be in the E-Case assortment. I'm probably just going to stop saying which treasure hunts are supposed, supposed to be in there anyways. Because you should know what to look for by now, right? I'm on my fourth year of doing uh, case unboxing videos. You should know. Custom Ford Bronco. A beautiful color, really nice presentation on this model. Here we have the Porsche 993 GT2 in beautiful blue. Let's see if we have tempos. Yeah, we got some nice racing stripes on the top, and uh, nothing in the back, nothing in the front. Nice, nice model for the one dollar assortment. Got Porsche up on the wing, too. Very nice. Monte Racer. It's a track vehicle, clear speeder in a clear canopy and a green base. It's a track car, you know. Loop Coop, another track car. Actually, uh, three of them are track stars. There you have uh, track stars. Now, I said international packaging, so it says track stars on the international packages. Hey, X Racers, it didn't, didn't uh, put the notation track stars on clear speeder. He's a pretty good track car. And there you have the loop coupe, and it does say track stars. On the USA English, it'll uh, package it, it'll say something different. And we have the uh, winning formula in purple. A uh, couple samples of the Morris Mini. Check out the wheels. Now look, you're going to get variations in the wheels. Mm, I think they're called rainbow wheels. Look how they, they kind of just do different colors. So look at this one. This one's almost perfectly red and red. Missing a little bit right there, but this one here you have some other colors. This is very normal So don't think it's an error a paint error. It's totally normal. And by the way, this is part of the Art cars. This is the symbol for the art car series. Mm, there will be ten cars This is number three out of ten and we have an alphabet on the top uh, I think it goes this way it's gonna be ten cars with a letter on the top and I, I assume by number ten they're going to spell something. That's, uh, I don't think I had any art cars before. Nope, that was the first one out of this case. Hopefully we have another one to check out what the letter will be. Formulator. There you go. Another good track car. Hover Storm. Surprisingly fantastic track car. Didn't see that one coming. Uh, I said Hover, didn't I? Hover Storm. At least I caught it. Give me a break. Hover Storm. He's a, he's a good track car, too. Oh, what's this? The fourth color for Loopster. Yeah, you can hook them. You have the hook in the back. You have the hook in the front. So you can make yourself a roller coaster chain of models of uh, cars. I got one here with the hands up. Uh, I don't... You can find it with the hands up or hands down. I don't think either version's rare at all. There will be plenty to go around of both versions. The 14 Corvette Stingray, that's been in previous cases, and so has a, mm, no, I think this is the first color, the first time for this color in the BMW, for the BMW M4, just a nice, nice basic decos on the tailgate, on the back end, you can see it does have uh, tampos or decos on the front and the rear, down here we got Mad Props, Hot Wheels of Flying Ace, it's in the Sky Show series. What else do we have here? Off duty in orange. Like those wheels? Look good on this truck. Very nice. Snowstormer in orange. This is the other one. 
Custom 69 Volkswagen square, square back. Uh, another HW art car. So it's going to have a letter on the back. The other one was number three, right? This one's number two. Had an H on the other one. And this one is going to have the level letter uh, M. No, that's a W. Yeah, definitely a W. Nice car, though. A lot of people are going to like this car. Custom 69 Volkswagen square back. I'm not sure. I don't recall this model being in the basics. If you would post, if it was like uh, in another adult collectible, like the 3 and $4 cars, maybe it was another line with a metal base. And now I came to the basics with a plastic base. Or do I just not remember it? Or is it a new model? And it, worldwide, they don't see the uh, new models on the packages. Let's move on to the next one. I do like that car, though. Very nice. If you like that car, suggest it for track time. I'm sure I'm going to pick it, especially if there's more than one in the case. I'm a lot more. I'm probably going to pick it. Haven't seen that car. Want to see how he does. Custom 15 Ford Mustang. He was in the last case. Chill Mill and the Light Baby Blue was also in the last case. Porsche Carrera GT and McLaren P1. Boy, this is a nice trio. I'm sure people are going to be looking for these two models here. Now that Porsche Carrera GT, it's kind of a flat black. But very nice. Look, it has a tail temples, tail decorations, and it says Carrera GT with the Hot Wheels logo on the back. Very nice. Brake lights. It's even, it even has the red right there on the uh, spoiler. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to like this one or not. I like this, the color, when it was orange, when it was a new model. But uh, actually, now that I have this, I like this one too. I still like the orange one better. It's like kind of reddish orange. Got a nice uh, racing stripe going down the middle. And headlight tampos. Let's see what the McLaren P1 got for decorations. He also got tail tampos. Tampo is a machine that put, it's a tampo machine that puts the, the printing on there. For those of you who are wondering, why does he keep calling them tampos? Well, that's what the machine is called. And so we just call the tampo the end result. So he does have printing on the front. Nice to see the McLaren P1 back. I remember goldish brown color. I can't remember what the other... Silver. Is that it? Got a silver, a gold, and now we got a blue. I'll be getting... Uh, I think I'll be getting every color, though, that they release of that model. For the HW Rescue Series, Chevy Blazer 4x4. Look how big he is. High roller. No tempos on the back, but check it out. Check out the tailgate. You can see it says Chevrolet on the tailgate. Yeah, he doesn't fit on. I don't think he'll fit on the track. Look how wide those wheels are. For the track, you need to have about this width. And look at that wheel just sticking out. Mm, probably not going to fit on the track. HW Fire Department. We have uh, little things that he's carrying on top. Yep, people are like this. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's been images on the net, so people are looking forward to getting that one. Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. Another model with the Falcon, F-A-L-K-E-M, Falcon Tire. That's a co tire company. You can see it right there, too. Yep, nice to get licensed tampos on basic models. There's no high, another high rider, but I think, I think people are going to go for the... Uh, I think people are going to go for this truck more than they're going to go for this one. But, you, you know, hey, to each your own. You like to collect this? You can buy what you like. It's up to you. It's your money. Don't let nobody else tell you what to collect. Pedal driver in orange and the 13 Chevrolet Copo Camaro. That one looks really good. Like Halloween colors. Would have been great a couple months ago. I am unboxing this January of 2016. Just in case you're watching this later. Hey, that's a new model. But first, let's get to the HW Rescue Series. We have the Humvee, and I accidentally said Hummer in the description of my video last month. Thank you for telling me, guys. I corrected the description. Description. It's got a temple on the top. Got a little uh, tail hitch, but uh, there's no Hot Wheels models that uh, use that hitch. Here you have the Gazella GT. Because, hey, that, that just reminded me, Gazella. I think I knew a girl at work, Gazella. I think that was her name, Gazella GT. But anyways, here's a plastic-bodied model. Yep, just as thoughts. Track stars. You kind of get the idea it's going to be a track car. Low and sleek. Let's see. It has nice, uh, no, it's a little curved in on the side right here. 
but um, metal base, plastic body. Yeah, probably gonna be a good track car. But when I do my track time video, you don't know, is it gonna be a boosters, loops, and curves? Is it gonna be downhill racing? Is it gonna be uh, wall tracks? You know, it could be anything. My track time is a test or a review to see how well cars do on the track, right? They're Hot Wheels. Porsche 356A Outlaw. This is like the third case in a row that is in the assortment. So if you have not uh, been lucky enough find for, to find one, it's in the third case. So now you got another chance again when the E cases hit your areas. Fig rig. This time he's in like a silver color and he doesn't have that checkerboard Lego type design that he had before. Here is the uh, 76 Greenwood Corvette. This is HW Mild to Wild. So this is a uh, wild version of a Corvette. And then there's also a mild version, which came out uh, a couple months ago. I don't think uh, I don't think I passed it. I don't recall really seeing it. But if you've been collecting, you've seen it around. Here you have the '69 Ford Torino Talladega Union '76. Got the spirit. Really, this is really neat to have this kind of cars for them to get the uh, to pay the licensing to have uh, official license decorations on the model it's really neat to see the uh, the orange ball the union 76 logo i like that one a lot hey look who's back aston martin vantage gt3 he's pretty good on the track by the way boosters loops and curves and the downhill very good hw mile to wild aston martin vantage i'm not sure which if the i don't know i, I would assume this is the wild version don't keep track i just kind of collect the cars bmw k 1300 r for you motorcycle collectors uh, and if you know if this one is the mild or the wild uh, post it i read every comment i don't necessarily have a chance to respond to ever all of them here we have the bentley continental super sports in white temples on the top there's z rod and yeah look it's a z pretty cool huh they have a z design and then ghost jerker said hey it'd be kind of be cool if they had the whole alphabet, and then I said, well, A, if they put A-Rod, I don't know if A-Rod's pretty good for those people who uh, are basketball, basketball, baseball fans. Oh, by the way, I said that uh, I can't respond to every comment. I get over 3,000 comments on YouTube every month. 3,000 comments. And on Instagram, over 10,000. It, it just, it's just not possible for me to reply to everyone. 41 willies and two samples of ice shredder in this color yeah i mean I, I get thousands of comments lots of interaction and plus i'm on facebook and twitter so i do what i can i just can't reply to every comment you know i got things to do too you know i'm not sitting around 17 ford f-150 raptor i'm pretty sure that this is a new model yep looking good but once again as with uh, other trucks you have a plastic bed you're going to have the sunroof so that they put less metal in the vehicle there. And we do have a little notch for the, uh, not vent, the grill. Mm, I can forget what that area would be called. Uh, air intake? Who knows? <clears throat> Anyways, looking good. Nice tampo, nice color. I like how they got the extra, how they have the interior. See the interior, how it's part of the bed. And the interior also forms this part right here, giving it a nice contrast with the sides so you have a plastic base you have a plastic interior in the bed and the body is the uh, metal two samples in this case now this was the ee -E, what eed -E case if you get an eef eeg or whatever you're going to wind up with different quantities of the cars okay you're not going every case doesn't have the same number of quant cars every case doesn't have the same number of cars that is represented here x racers ferradox now a lot of cars have been uh you know cutbacks the wings have been changed to be part of the body ferradox has a little feature and i was wondering if it was released if it was going to lose that feature we're going to check it out yep sure enough it's gone i'm pretty sure ferradox was the one where it had this little spinning thing underneath yep seen that coming knew it was going to happen but that's all right if you're a fan of the ferradox you're going to pick this one up anyways. And if you like booster cars, cars to send through the boosters, loops, and curves, that's one you're want, going to want to get. Here's the HW Formula Solar. I know this is a new model because it was in the last case, and it had the new model logo there. Nice addition. 
to the lineup. We have a couple samples of the Cadillac El Mirage in black with the red interior. No temple. Oh, there's a temple. So we do have some decorations in the front. I didn't notice any tre basic treasure hunt. I didn't get a basic treasure hunt in the last case either. <sighs> I think it's supposed to be the red charger, but uh, regardless, I'm, I'm, you know what to look for. <laughs> the pedal driver. Got another sample of the custom Ford Bronco. And the 20, 2005 Ford Mustang. Mixed wheels. You can see in the picture, it has a dark wheel. Uh, dark, right? And gold in the back. So it has dark and gold. As a matter of fact, they're mixed wheels all together. It has a gold five spoke in the back, and then it has this different MC5. I forget what the name of that wheel is. Uh, usually it's the same wheel, and they change the color. That's interesting that they would put two types of wheels. It's not unusual for them to mix the wheels and have two, two, two different colors, but I don't think they put... Uh, see, look, here's a good example. Look, PR5 is in gold, and then you got a PR5 in this uh, gray color, but it's the same wheel, just different color. But with this one, not only did they do different colors, they did different wheels. Street Cleaver in yellow, and two samples of the four, 14 Corvette Stingray with the Canon Tampos. A lot of racing, a lot of autom automotive Tampos. Yeah, this is one people are going to be looking for. You have the 15 Dodge Charger SRT. Nice, just black and red. And you see the Dodge. Uh, text here with the do uh, Hot Wheels Flame logo in the back. No tampos though in the front or the rear. Tampos only on the top and the side. And three three in this case. Very good. So now when people say you got extras, you're right. Because one's probably going to be on track team. And then uh, who knows? They're my cars. I don't do giveaways, okay? I need my cars for future videos or other purposes, okay? Got some glare coming over here. Anyways, voltage spike. They want my glasses to the floor. Voltage spike, brand new model, 2016. New model. Of course, uh, does look like a track car. Track stars. There you go. You're starting to recognize what they look like. Interesting model. I don't see any special features, even though I do. It does seem like the basic assortment is going to kind of start losing special features because of the price point. They want to keep it under a dollar. Here we have Speed Dozer in light blue and Campbell's Decos on the 67 Austin minivan. Another formulator. We already had one in the case. Hmm. So I don't see any basic treasure or super treasure. I okay, could have missed it. I'll go back through it and of course I'll put it at the end if I see it. But you know what to look for. You know what you're looking for first. This, let me tell the name. Ford GT D Muscle. And Muscle Speeder, I said the wrong name last time. I said something else. But anyways, there you have a Muscle Speeder. D-Muscle. Going to be the year of the uh, monkey. It's got the logos. And I like this being back, the Ford GT. Oh, look what I found. I was actually editing the video. I didn't find a treasure hunt or a basic treasure hunt. But I looked for errors and stuff. I didn't find anything in the case. And I'm going through editing the video right now it's actually in the other room it's waiting for me to get this little segment to add on to the end anyways uh i go through and i write the name of the car in the description so this way when i go to track time i have the list of the names of the cars so i have to watch the whole video again as i'm editing and then i notice this right here and then i see this and then i think oh yeah i wonder then i had to come back and get the car and let's see yeah, there it is. What was it? X Steam? Remember, uh, Mattel came out with a car. I think it was X Steam. It's kind of a steampunk car. And it had this thing to where you can flip this to make it a track car so it would go through the loops. See how it has the high, uh, not spoiler. Someone told me these are actually called something else. Mm -hmm, I forgot. But, anyways, or if you want it to look like a real car, you can drop it down. If you want it to go through the loops, right, you need it, you need a curve like this so it can go through a loop. But maybe you want it to look like a real car. Let's see. There you go. Pop it down. There you go. I seen that picture and I said, I'll bet you. And sure enough, they did. So here we have another car with this feature. I think this is the first realistic model. I wonder if there was another one. I didn't notice. 
but hopefully they do it more in the future. While they say they can't have that many moving parts, this is a moving part that is pretty important. Hopefully they can do it more because I like to see, I, there's a lot of people, they like to put their cars on the track. They like to see how they do, but you can't have it go through the loop if it has this thing so low. You want to put it through the loop, you do it like this. You want to, don't want to go through a loop, you want to put it like this. You want to just keep it in the package? Oh, but you know what? When they have it in the package, actually, they should put it like this. Because then uh, collectors are going to want to display it with it down, actually. So, if Mattel, I know you listen. Uh, maybe you want to put this in the package with this down. So that adult collectors who keep it in the package, they want to display it like this. But yet, uh, us of us who like to uh, play with our cards, and kids are going to find out about this. Especially because they watch my uh, videos. You know, 10 million views a month on my channel. Yeah, I have a little bit of influence. And people watch my channels and they learn about stuff. So, there you go. It might have been on the back. Nope, no information on the back. So, there you go. Have fun with your cars. Bye-bye.